What's good YouTube? I'm back with another tutorial and today I'm showing you how to transform this into this. This is week 3 of my 30 day challenge and by the end you'll know how to make your videos look like they came straight from a movie theater inside of Premiere Pro 2025 baby. Alright welcome back to week 3 of the color grading series. Last week we matched colors and this week we're going deeper and also I'll show you a trick to save time on every project. Stick around because I've got a free lot you can try at the end. So first things first I'm gonna begin by selecting a frame on the video that we're gonna be using for the color grading. I've decided to start this from scratch since I'm using a different footage which is shot on the iPhone 16 Pro on a normal day just an overcast day and my bro on the camera so nothing special so I'm gonna begin by adding a new adjustment layer doing some basic white balancing and after that I'm gonna go ahead and tweak the exposure a little bit and tweak the highlights and the shadows too I'm gonna tweak the whites and the black you can copy my settings if you want to practice on your own and after that I'm gonna add a little bit of vibrance just to saturate the less saturated parts of my video okay now I'ma head over to the HSL secondary and I'ma select the skin tones, make sure the mask is perfect. I'ma add a little bit of blur after the mask and check this. Then come to the correction panel where I'll push the skin tones to a warmer reddish tone just to make them pop a little bit. As you can see the before and after we have made a little bit of progress and we're not stopping there. We're gonna balance the temperature a little bit, warm the footage just a teeny tiny bit. Remember we're on the HSL secondary, so we're only warming up the skin tones and all the red areas on the video. Let me zoom this a little bit, that's perfect. And I'm gonna head straight to the curves. And over here, you know the usual, you know what we do over here. We're gonna create the S curve and I'm gonna begin on the shadows. Drop them down a little bit just to add a little bit of contrast to my footage. Come through to the highlights. Bring them up a little bit. You know how we do it. Then we're gonna head over to hue versus hue. And over here I wanna mess with the clouds in the background. And I'm gonna pick the blue tones. Turn them down a little bit. And pick on the red tones. And turn them up a little bit. Next we come into the hue versus saturation and I want to saturate the red tones a little bit once more and saturate the blue tones a little bit. Same with the yellow or the orange tones, we're gonna saturate them too and as you can see the before and after. Okay. Now after that we're creating a new adjustment layer. Remember the first adjustment layer was the correction layer where we did a little bit of correction to the footage and the skin and everything else. Now we add in a new adjustment layer and we're gonna call this layer the grade. I'ma rename this and label it too. So we're going straight to the creative panel and over here I'm gonna import a lot I used before which is called Cineplug FX2. You saw it on the previous videos on the week 1 and week 2 video. And after I import it I'ma turn it down a little bit say around 60% then we're gonna head over to the color wheels and match and by the way guys if you don't know I just dropped some five cinematic class that you can download for free on the video that I dropped last week Make sure you check that out. It's a freebie. You don't have to pay anything. They're totally free And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for always liking the videos It's a kind gesture. I want you to enjoy the lots and I'm gonna be giving more freebies in the near future so if you haven't subscribed make sure you do anywho let's continue the video so on the color wheels and march we're gonna take the mid tones to the warmer tones and the shadows to the colder tones a little bit on the highlights we're gonna keep them cool for now yeah then we're gonna head over again to the hsl secondary and we're gonna pick the reds this is where the skin tones lie as you can see there are a lot of red fills in the video so I'll make the mask 
add a little bit of blur and then I'll invert the mask. This is because I want to tweak the background a little bit. So I'll come through to the correction area of the HSL secondary and I'll take it to the tail colors of the wheel. Okay, then I'll tweak the temperature and add a little bit of contrast and lower the saturation a little bit. All right, you can see the before and after. Now, after that, we add in a new adjustment layer, the third one, and I'm gonna rename this and name it Film Emulation. Cause this is where the magic now really helps. By the way, if you made it this far, big shout out to you. Thank you for always watching the video. Thank you for always liking the videos. And on the emulation adjustment layer, we're coming through to the effects. I'm gonna use a plugin that comes pre-installed in Premiere Pro. All you gotta do is just go to the effects panel and search for noise. And what this does, it adds a little bit of grain to the video to make it look more filmy. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna keep the amount to 10, perfect. And I'm gonna come to the curves again, go to Luma vs Saturation and drop that a little bit. Let's add a little bit of veneer too, perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and add another plugin but it's a third party plugin by Film Convert and it's called Hazy by Film Convert. So I'm gonna drag this to the film emulation adjustment layer that we just did. As you can see, it comes with a lot of things. I'm gonna pick the Apple log and here you have quite a bit of enhancements that you can do to your video. As you can see, when I select the different modes that we got here, the filter styles, I'm gonna keep the filter strength to us. Quarter. I'll just the exposure a little bit, the saturation too. And finally, I'll do some black bars, you know. The black bars make the videos look more cinematic. If I say so myself. So I'ma do that crop top 12, crop bottom 12, and that's what's up. So that's week three wrapped up. Next week I'm dropping week four. <laughs> Trust me, you're not ready for week four. I got something hefty planned for the week four. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to like the video, be sure to share it with your friends and go ahead to my previous video where you're going to find some five free cinematic class that you can use on your projects completely free from your boy Fresh Plug. Till next time, peace.